Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I got another video to share with you today. I'm getting caught up. I got the night off and grafted in King Jesus. And it helps me get my <laughs> my email uh, caught up and some more videos out for y'all. Uh, this is very interesting. Someone emailed this to me recently. I still have some several days old. But anyway, it was from Mark Allison. Excuse me. Mark Allison 88 is the channel on YouTube, and it's called 8th Day of Tabernacles Fire Update. Now, okay, I'll let you, let's listen to just a little bit of this. This is pretty exciting, y'all. Oh, and let me just say, he's not the only one uh, looking for toward the week of tabernacles as our departure, the first fruits, the remnant. The Bride of Christ, the 144K. You are to be found spotless, holy, and ready. Don't let any sin keep you from going. All right? You must. Uh, I know that I put up a video. I shared the one about everybody needs to repent by Yom Kippur. Well, back when that was uh, celebrated, you could say, or well, that was a day of atonement. People were more like, fasting and in mourning for their sins and doing sacrificing animal sacrificing and all that before jesus came to earth and died for us to end that uh end the need for any more animals sacrificing not to end the need for repentance make sure you understand that but i know the first fruits the first people leaving the uh, 144K, whatever you call it, the barley harvest is how Jesus put it to me in the message I got several years back about the two uh, raptures. I, I, it's like a rapture. We're we're whisked out of here. We're 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 um we escape. Because Luke 21, 36 says, Pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Okay, so a lot of folks are looking for, toward the Day of Tabernacles for various different reasons. God's showing them the numbers, showed them the month, has showed us the this is the year uh, through a couple different messengers. And so... The, uh, let's take to listen. I noticed that uh, sort of God uh, right here, I send his comment. He's got videos on it. Feast of Tabernacles, yes, he's talking about it too. Yes, he does a beautiful job, my brother. So he's looking at the eighth day too. That's the sword of God. Down here, I guess Brenda Whitner is also looking at the eighth day of tabernacles or tabernacles. Brenda Whitner. I don't really care. Just when we leave, you know, tabernacles, that's fine. I see Brenda's looking at it. I see my brother. Turok. Sword of God. A, Ministry. got a video. Brenda's been talking about this too. So anyway, let's skip ahead a little. Jerusalem. And the oh, coming I went too far. In addition, the Lord commanded the people. So this is what... Tabernacles is about. Because I did miss something that uh, well, made my videos kind of long, but. Land. In addition, the Lord commanded the people to celebrate by taking the fruit of beautiful trees, branches of palm trees, the boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook, and rejoice during the feast before the Lord. Despite it being during Passover when Jesus arrived in Jerusalem riding on a donkey, the people greeted him by waving palm branches. This was likely due to them understanding the connection of Jesus triumphantly entering Jerusalem and the coming of the Messiah during Sukkot. During Sukkot. God bless. There you go. I didn't have that in my video. You can listen to this right here, this video right here. From messages, me okay, that was from messages from Christ. Let me back that up just a smidge. Let's get that. Oh shoot! 
It was just a blurb there. Messages, I'm not familiar with it. Let's see if he put it in his, um, what do you call it? Description box? Doesn't look like it. It's very helpful if they suggest a site, if they put it in the description box. There's nothing. I see nothing. Okay, so let me blow this up. Whoa, what happened there? I hear this video right here. Understanding the Feast of Tabernacles of Sukkot. There, Messages there. of Christ. You see that? All right, so he's recommending that video. I don't know how. I, I'm still learning this computer, y'all. There are tricks about it. I, I don't know how I make it jump from... I'm typing away, and the cursor jumps from where it should be to the middle of the sentence up ahead and it'll be typing what I'm if I'm not paying attention which most typists do not look at what's going up here they're looking at where what they're typing or you know what I'm saying <laughs> I'll be like oh no I gotta erase all that and I don't know what I'm doing to cause that there must be a button here I'm pushing anyway so uh I'm still learning this thing but I'm thankful, very thankful that I can still share videos with you that I feel like are pertinent for this time that we are living in. We don't have many more, more days left. If this is all correct, and I believe it is, because I've looked at, I've looked toward tabernacles every year since I learned, well about, let's see, I got on YouTube around 2012 and I started hearing messages, it might have been 2011, I got moved here, and I really got into it, and was still, you know, for a couple years I heard messages, and um, maybe three years, now and then, Lord, wake me up, give me a message, and then I was just supposed to share the ones I felt in my heart were, you know, truly from Him, and I'm sure I put up some that y'all didn't agree was from Him, or previous subscribers you know nobody's perfect we go by the, i go by the i try my very best to go by what i feel is in my spirit saying yes this is from the lord or no if this if i feel no i don't believe that's from the lord i won't share it but um it might be still you know i'm not perfect none of us are perfect none of us have the whole picture None of us have it down 100% right. Nobody's got all the puzzle pieces. Someone gets this, and that one gets that, and another person gets another thing, and, and we're trying to put it all together. But I have looked toward tabernacles as the most feasible time because I firmly believe in my heart that's when Jesus was born because that's when they put up the Sukkot, so the little uh, temporary shelters, it also happens to be when Jesus and took his uh, Peter, James, and John up the mountain and he transfigured in front of them. And the reason we can believe it was during tabernacles is because Peter said, Lord, uh, that's when Elijah, Moses and Elijah came down from heaven in their heavenly bodies and Jesus transfigured into his glorified body and the apostles were like blown away and peter says lord it is good for me to build you and moses and elijah uh, a, a, a tabernacle here now why would why would he say that i often wonder that until i realized and we just talked about this on the team last night or the night before last about why would they say, well, let us put up a tabernacle here for you and Moses and Elijah? Because it was a feast of tabernacles. And nobody could remember any other place in the Bible.